Like any role-playing game, this one requires a dice roll when your character attempts an action. When you see the word roll along with a character attribute on a card, such as roll dexterity or roll intelligence, you must roll two dice, add the specified attribute, and achieve a 10 or greater to succeed the action. Let's take a look at some examples. You can use this to heal your own character or heal a party member. When you restore health, remove any damages applied to the entity. Let's say your character has an intelligence of four at this time. Because it says roll intelligence, you roll two dice and add your intelligence. The ability capture says, when you encounter an animal creature, roll strength to capture it. Minus three to roll if it's hostile. If you encountered the bear coon, who is hostile, you'd be at a minus three to your dice roll. Let's say you have a strength of six. You roll two dice, add your strength, and then subtract three. However, if you encountered the Mertmellow, who is an animal but not hostile, you would just roll two dice and add your strength. Quest cards will also ask you to roll. Circus Act says a traveling circus has come to town and is looking for extra performers. Audition at the Headmaster's Tent for Acrobat, Fire Juggler, and Lion Tamer. To complete, travel to any camp and succeed at least one of the following. Roll Agility minus 2, Roll Dexterity minus 2, and Roll Intelligence minus 2. So if your Agility is 4, you would roll 2 dice, add 4, and subtract 2. The good thing is you get to try all three. The next example comes right off of a character card. Omar has Detain Water. Once per round as part of your travel action, roll strength to cross up to 60 hexes or a single river. This means right before you travel, you would roll two dice and add Omar's strength, which starts at three, although you may have leveled him up. Once you've succeeded, you may cross up to six sea hexes on the map, or a single river. A creature card may even have you roll an attempt. Light Fairy says, roll Charisma to take her into your party, and gain the quest points. The Light Fairy is a very valuable creature to me. Not only do you gain the loot on her card, you also get to take her into your party and she'll assist you in combat. An attack is just an ability that deals damage. So Herewell's Spear, roll Dexterity to attack. As normal, you would roll Add Dexterity and need a 10 or greater to succeed. We'll look at an example combat later, which will have plenty of attacks demonstrated. If when Herewell rolled Dexterity to attack, rolled two sixes, that's a critical success. So the total result of damage is doubled. What if you fail a roll? Well, you don't get to take the action, but you do get a special token called Tenacity. I believe a hero is defined by how they respond to failure, so by building up Tenacity, you may spend them later to improve your dice rolls. So, in summary, when you attempt an action, roll two dice, add the specified attribute, and get a 10 or greater to succeed. If you fail, you may either spend tenacity to improve the roll, or take one to save for later. 